Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see about how to edit the data without page reload. So in previous video, we have did how to fetch single users data. So before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe, hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting a notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get into the video. In this video, we have discussed about the view part. So, how to view particular data without page reload. Here we are getting the student details. So, when I click on user 2, I am getting the second user's details. Now, we are going to see the similar thing with the edit. But what is the difference between view and edit is here we have viewed thing uh, with a text in an H4 tag. Or, uh, in an H4 tag, here we have just displayed the user data. But in case of edit, it is not going to be the same because we are we want to edit the data, right? So when you are when you want to edit the data, that has to be inside a form. Here we are going to fetch the same data, but with the help of form. So we will be using the form that is being used for hat student. Same form we'll be using, and we'll see how to fetch the data inside this form. So let's get into the video. So open your VS Code. Inside your footer, right? So here, this is for view student. So if you have confusion, let me add a comment line. Tell, let's tell this as add student. Okay, so E N T. So the spelling is mistaken. So now while by reading the comment is itself, we'll know that this is the code for add student and this is the code for view student. And this is for the uh, fetching part okay so we have fetched using a function and, uh, yeah this is the entire thing that we have really we are focusing on this edit part right so similar way only we are going to work so first thing is that you have to give a hash inside href so add a hash and here let's give a class so the class we have given is student view student let's tell this as edit student so the class name is edit student what you have to do is so this is the code for view student right there is no difference between view and edit it is the same but the simple thing is that we are going to fetch edit inside a form so the same code it works right so what we'll do is we'll copy this and paste it below so i've pasted this view student what you have to do is you have to rename here you have view student so what this line of code is telling is let's copy this edit and paste it here so this line of code is telling so on click of this edit student we are getting the id and we are performing okay so here let's comment this ajax first so this is the ajax let's comment it i've commented the ajax here let's alert this variable that we have created which is student id here how we are getting this id is we are just creating a variable which is student id and this closest of tr is coming from here so this tr okay and this class is what we are telling here find of that class and we are getting it in the text format so now let's alert this and check if we are getting the particular user's id Reload this page and click on user 1. So, sorry, I clicked on view button. So, it has to be on edit button. Click on edit. I am getting 1. So, when I click on user 2, I am getting 2. When I click on 3, I am getting 3. So, this part is working fine. So, let's comment this back. Okay. And uncomment this Ajax code. So, I have uncommented the Ajax code here. So, here... It is telling it is of post and it is going to code.php okay but here when it is taking the data it is showing that click view button let's make this to click edit button and the student id let's comment this for now okay this part for now now with the help of this click edit button name we should go to code.php with the post method okay. let's comment this loop here So I've commented here and 
let's uncomment this line of code and let's copy this click edit button and go to code.php here also you can see that this is for add this is for click view so if you want you can retype it but this is the same thing that we'll be performing so what i'm doing is i'll just copy paste i'm just going to copy and paste it and come again to footer i'll just copy this name once again go back paste it here here we are telling that if that button is clicked which means that edit button is clicked then we are taking the id and we are writing that student query so here also you can see that it is view student query so i am just going to change it as edit student query so just select wherever it is and here instead of view just make it to edit changed wherever it was a view to edit so you can also do that instead of getting confusion so we are taking the id of that particular student okay and then we are writing a query to select from this is the table name which user we are going to click we are going to fetch the data of that id so here we are using where condition and then using mysqli we are connecting and passing this edit query student query Next is that we have created one empty array. This empty array is used to store data that is in the row. Okay, we will be storing the data inside an array which we are fetching in the form of row. Okay. Now, here we have fetched this data in the form of row and we are going to just store it in an array using array push function. We are going to store it using array push function. So, after that, to view that, we are just redirecting it and then echoing the array in a JSON format. Not found, we are going to tell no record found. So that is not required actually, but then yeah. Once after this, now what it will do is this JSON, it will give us the result. So let's see if we are getting that result. So let's go here. Okay. And let's inspect let's see if we are getting that in an array format here i'm going to click on edit so i am clicking on user one so when i clicked on user one what just happened was here i got some data of that particular user in an array format correct when i click on the second user i will get the second user's data in an array format so this is what this this line of code is doing okay this is what this line of code is doing it is giving us the result in an array format so this is an array format right this is not the way that we want the data to be fetched we wanted it in a form right so that what we have to do is get back to footer so here is your footer and this console so if you want to view this data here make sure you are giving here console and this response okay so if you don't give that that array will not be shown because you are not console logging okay let's comment this for now and uncomment this line of code now we have to get that in a form of form right so i'll tell you what is this but before that i think we have to work with model so when you click on this you have to get one model right so for that what you have to do is i told that i will be using the add model itself because add model as the form so where is your model it is in index so here is add model let's copy this add model copy and paste it here i'm pasting it on top of the container and change this to edit Let's change this to edit student. After changing, you have here had student data. Make this to edit student data. If you want, you can add without page reload as well. 
once after this here you have error message so if you have some error this error message will be shown else you can remove that it's of your wish so now we have your id right so this id copy this id edit student data and go to footer paste it here you can see edit student data data right view student so here ash represents id so edit student data and we are showing that model so after this we have to get the data so for that data here we have is view id and we are getting the id and here we have view name view email view phone view department let's make this to edit instead of view and tell this as edit and here you have dot you can use dot or you can go with id dot represents class and ash represents id you can use id or class i am going with the class itself so here i have renamed this to edit id edit name edit email edit phone edit department so here one more thing that we have to notice that not text so when we are fetching the data or when we are using form we have to use val so val so make the text to val okay so now this id particular id where it is coming from it is coming from the form it is coming from the input form right so inside class you have to give that so here is a class so let's tell this and let's copy paste this class here so these are the input form if you can see so we have id so for now i'm not going to do with anything with id so let's play paste this first inside class paste name copy paste email then you have phone number copy paste and then you have department copy paste done and you have id right so copy this id let's close this and go to index so here you have let's give an input tag and type will be hidden because we are not going to show that id to the user give a class or if you don't give a class also there is no problem form control and paste this edit id so we have we have made this hidden this id will be using only when we are going to update the data so scroll down you have your save data so we are going to change this to update data and here you have add student data let's make this to update student data so it's almost all set and let us go reload and check if you are getting the data let's go back Re let's close this console reload click on edit i'm clicking on user one so you can see it's perfectly fetching the data inside the form now here from the form i can edit right if it is sneha or i can do that or sneha ravindra i can do that and once after doing this i have to update the data so we have not yet written the code for update we have fetched the data this is the edit part so when i click on user 2 i'm getting the user's data perfectly that's it in this video guys in next video will be coming up with the updation part i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt or suggestion do let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you guys in the next video